absolutely. We're going to move on. B, uh, the BC313 oh, has asked, uh, Mikey, can I ask you about your memories of being in the crowd for the first ever Monday Night Raw? Loved it. So, yeah, so it was general admission, and it was we had no idea what to expect because it was the first one. We didn't know anything. And me and my friends, we took the train in from Long Island to Penn Station, um, walked a couple blocks to the Manhattan Center, which is upstairs from the Hammerstein Ballroom, for those of you wondering, same building. And yet we waited outside for hours and hours and hours in the cold in January, freezing. Um, they opened the doors and we fucking beelined it. You had to go. We ran up the stairs. I think you could have taken the elevator or the stairs. I'm not sure which one we took. But we remember walking into the room and it was the first live TV taping I'd ever been to. Um, everything else was at the Nassau Coliseum or the Garden, just house shows. Um, and just running. And we were talking to the people. Actually, Vlad, you know Vladimir? That's, that was my next question. Did you ever meet Vladimir? Yeah. Yeah, yes. So Vladimir was there and he said, yo, guys, you want to be on camera? Go across from the camera. So you'll see the camera set up. Go opposite there. I said, okay. So because we were just going to go get in the front. We didn't fucking know where. And because of Vlad screamed, go over there. We went to, to the hard cam. It was amazing. Front row. We, we bought belts that my friend Mike Norman had made out of uh he would go to like home depot or lowe's like a home improvement store and he would buy kick plates for the bottom of a, of a door like the front door you know like the gold the bronze or whatever and he would literally pop them out and engrave them and layer them he'd buy silver ones and gold ones and he would make belts which back in the day the belts we had were fucking sick because a lot of people oh they made a belt with cardboard and aluminum foil and is it but yeah we had legitimate like he would he put like cheap leather and he would make like leather straps for them it, it, these things were deluxe for back in 1991 92 93 things were freaking deluxe yeah did you make it in the first row or the second first row first row and also just because just first row was, i'm sorry no for the for the first raw we were in the front row I think we went back a couple weeks later and we were like maybe three rows back. But yeah, first one we were in the front row. I, I don't know I what put you... a, I put a clip of that, a picture of me. That, that, hey, here I am. That's what that's With exactly what reminded me of it. Yeah. So I went through your Twitter beforehand and you've got a three second gif of you just go with a really good looking belt. That's what I mean, like for, for back in the day, I mean my friend Mike did an amazing job of them. It took him, I can't days and weeks of just painstakingly just making these things. It was freaking amazing. We call them threshold strips here. You know, the uh, the gold strips between the doorway to keep the carpet down kind of thing. I don't know what you call them. But anyway, that's the name uh, we would use. For well, no, the, well the, no, those are thresholds too, but these were kick plates. Actually, like eight inch, I don't know, like, like this much. Okay. By like the width of a door and it would go on the front of a door and they call them kick plates. So because if you open a door and you have packages, you kick the door open. Yeah. You don't mess up your door. You kick this kick plate. Uh, apart from Vlad, you know, there's going to be like Faith No More guy and Vlad's friend who's everywhere with him and you yeah. know, and all that kind of thing. Harley. Do, do, do you remember a guy in the early Raw tapings who would wear a yellow T-shirt that just said, Bob Backlund, Bob Backlund, WWWF champion? Yep. Who was that guy? He was there for months, it seemed. I, he was just Bob Backlund guy. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't think I ever officially met him, really. Um, but yeah, he wanted Bob Backlund. And I'm so upset I was never around when Bob actually came back because I'm guaranteed that guy lost his shit. <laughs> I, he, I think I'm trying to think Bob Backlund returned at the end of 92. So that would have just been when he was turning back up again, I think. Oh, was he back already? Yeah, I think he oh, maybe was back. he's back already, man. Okay. Spry 40. Yeah, no, he loved me. He, either way, he loved Bob Backlund. I was, I was like it back in the day where I was like, he's 41 years old and talking like he's got one foot in the grave. And, you know, he's broken down. He's 40, 41. I mean, no one even gets a main event slot in WWE unless you're in your 40s these days. How times have changed. Yeah, no kidding. Back when I started watching, guys like, like you know, Piper and Orndorff and all these guys, they were in their mid-30s when they hit, like, the big time. Like, I mean, I know Hogan, they had some other stuff. But when they were on TV, 
get their their initial push. They were all in their mid thirties. Well, according which to which is crazy. The guys, the guys now in their early twenties are getting their big push. Yeah. With uh, Vince, uh, what did Vince say to Hulk Hogan? He was uh, Hulk Hogan was thirty eight. Vince McMahon, he was uh, thirty eight, and uh, Hulk Hogan was washed up. Oh, Vince. Oh, sorry, he doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. Oh, but yeah, thirty eight washed up. Same with Savage. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are too old. Incredible. It's one of those. Well, you know, the more I suppose the 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 schedule, the you know, the amount of dates everyone works every year is a lot less. So I mean, there's got to be some preservation sure. these days. How many? Uh, this is anything to do with the scripts. I'm just interested now. Uh, with ECW, how many matches would you generally wrestle a week? Because I don't think you ever ran weekdays, did you? Was it only weekends? Usually just weekends. So on occasion, we would do like a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sometimes we would do a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it was usually two days a week, sometimes three. 